Hi guys. So we are we are using space lo-fi and back with another episode. Last chapters. Sorry, I have to get a little a little jank at the stank. Last episode we saw Poon. And the former acquaintance. Talk to each other. Poon Poon almost done some devilish activities to her. Thank God he didn't though. Something on my screen, what the heck? Goofy. Thank God he didn't, but she's trying to get him to write a book because she sees hidden talent in him. Poon Poon has no self-esteem. He's still a triangle. He doesn't know what's going on. Woman flames his, his ideology. Just die already. She's pretty cute. But now there's pressure for Poon Poon to find um, a Kainu. I guess. So he has an option. Oh yeah, he just got flamed for being lonely. So I... He's kind of just starting to like, you know what I mean? We might try to see some, we might see some action from him. Oh, a little too loud. Let me move the mic up closer so y'all can. Y'all can hear me more clear. Okay. Eating a cucumber today. We also have a banana. This is what I call lunch. This is a math teacher. I love absolutes. That's why I, dis I disliked humanity majors and people who were into paranormal back during my student years. I just couldn't see the appeal of vague and substantial and euphemior nonsense created by humans. True. For me, nothing else could be more exciting than the absolute and perfect formulas offered by math. And if anybody could understand that, they'd be better off reading their pretentious novels. That's what a stubborn, that's what a stubbornly thought until I met him. The first time I met him, he was walking nude on campus while humming a tune. Nude! Jank dangling. It was quite a strange tune that captivated even someone like me who had no interest in music. So I walked up to him and asked, what was he humming? And with the look of the little boy on the face said, this is our melodies of your tomorrow that I heard in my dream. It'll be a big chapter. I thought he was just being idiotic for, at first. But on the next day, I cut myself while shaving. I arrived late for my date and was dumped by my girlfriend. Exactly like he predicted, what? Not even that he could correctly predict the Adam Shingen cults, attacks, 9 11, and even the but I could be a cool character. But he's got a pure soul. So he never uses his power for his own selfish gains. Nor does he show it off. I was reminded of a famous Indian mathematician, Nihal Baby, who claimed the goddess appeared before him in his dreams to reveal mathematical formulas. Jesus.
then I realized something. I realized that my purpose in life was to prove the greatness of a genius like him. Even a divine miracle of proven can become a science. That is my dream. That man is almost too pure. He's the type of He's the type to trust and forgive every last human on earth. I consider it my life's ambition to expose the people to that man's forgiving and his kind spirit. Thank you for that delight <laughs> delightfully absurd story. As expected of the infamous crackpot math teacher of this crab school. By the way, one of the female students said that your spit is toxic and can rot a, pers rot a person's face away. Well, to tell you the truth, he's actually just the son of moderately well wealthy religious family. Oh, family of religious fan fanatics. But unlike them, I don't think I could make a living with fancy talk. Well, you never know in an economic recess recession like nowadays. Religion might come be popular among the people. Of course, personally find them all too shady and almost laughable. But you're more humble than I thought. You'd be You'd be that's quite reassuring, you know? Is that a compliment? If so, then, how about going out with me, please? Pretty please, pretty please with a cherry on top. WTF, he's just going in. How did the conversation suddenly change to this? Are you idiots? Oh, one more thing. Please stop waiting for me outside after work every day. It's quite uncomfortable for me and you, for me, and if you persist, I'll report you a stalker. Mmm. Oh, that's the guy. Good vibrations. So I think that's her. She's walking. Oh, maybe she sees a kind of. That would be pretty cool. <gasps> They're kissing. Mm. Mm. Yo. Yo. To be honest, I don't think you'd write up something so soon. Of course, it's not like I wasn't expecting you to either, but I was a little worried that you might have been that I might have been too pushy. Hmm. Oh, he actually wrote something? Terrible. This is just plain terrible. <laughs> What's up, food food? Wait, I didn't Where is he? Yo! Is that him? Just chilling on the floor? Yo! Yo! I like that. Maybe he just wants to see her again. Terrible! This is just plain terrible! I mean, to begin with your Japanese is terrible. What? Are you sure we graduated from the same high school? The plot itself is a little better, but the rest is just... It's just... Just look at these characters. They act too cool. They talk way too much for a picture book. That you wrote for a more... It's more of a manga. I could have sworn... The story you wrote before was much better than this. Am I remembering you with rose-tinted glasses? Nananjero! Get a get out of here! Jeez, you're late! How do you have to sit down? Oh, this is this goofball from back in the past. Hey, no, that I love that those heats! Hey, the old little sister! Boom boom triangle! Still trying your luck at making picture books, huh, Nanjero? That's right! May I take your order? Um, I was a rabbit in my previous life, so I'll have a mini salad. What the heck? 
Goofy. Goofy. I was king in my previous life. In future life too. So I'll liver king full course meal. And you're still working as a corporate slave, right? It's kinda like, ah! What's with that attitude? I took the top out of my day, out of my busy schedule to come be with you. We haven't seen each other, each other for a long time. So, so, how's your little diamond of the rough doing? You sure your intuitions weren't wrong? Owner there, going back to what I was saying. I know you could write better than this. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Just let your feelings. In honesty. And right like you did back then. So, you wanna give another try? There's a piece of the triangle missing. I think it'd be better for us if I don't write anymore. God damn it. There you go, giving up again. What how the Jahannam would you Would you know if it'd be best for us? What say you some Esper? Let's go see the future or something. They'll settle down. No, no, settle down. Uh, looks like you're in quite the pickle order, da. Once that Juno set, sets her mind on something, she won't listen. She won't listen to anything else. She's a real demon. That's getting what she wants. Just a pushy, e egotistical foul mouth. But you know, she's really glad to have met you again. It's no lie that she's been longing to see you again. Believe me when I say that much. Naruju may be thinking of herself as helping you out a bit, but I think it's quite possible I'd like to ask you to help her out. In a lot of ways, she's a real white swan. An ugly dunkling. Duckling boop. <laughs> swan, that's it. Struggling to swim by the water and looking aloof. Even though she's actually just putting up a f tough front. I've known Najuro since she was in grade school. Back then, she was the girl with the sketchbook always by her side. And in middle school, she won awards for her drawings. That's so tough. She's like a little what they call artiste. Like Smeargle. After that, she acted as if she was a prodigy. Well, that's not to say she wasn't talented, of course. But her success didn't continue for very long. It was as if her talent suddenly dried up or something. She then enrolled in a university with me. But she ended up leaving in the middle of the school term due to a lot of complications. Nowadays, she, she says she considers drawing picture books as more of her hobby. But I wonder if that's how she really feels. That's why I think you'd be great if you could... Expel her doubts, any second thoughts. By the way, do you think Dajajo's childhood dream to become a mangaka? She was pretty serious about it back at university. And she even got this close. She even got quite close to getting a sterilization. Oh, serialization. But ended up missing her mark. No, the coffee's spilling. She's getting angry. I think she feels that she's been branded with failure. She just can't seem to come up with a story. But she used to talk about it so passionately back then. It's like Muhammad. Muhammad wants to make a book. But how she wanted to crush the world with her manga. Manga like Naruto, like Poon Poon. Hmm. Maybe we should hit up Mama's place for a drink. All oh, right, I forgot that you couldn't drink. Oh my God, flame! It's actually shorter than this hoe. No shot. Oh, but she's older, so I guess. Because Poon Poon's not fully grown yet. Then do you want to go to the cafe for some tea? I think I'll just go home early today so I can give it, give another go at the story. Ah, really? Thanks. Nan Joyo. Is it no good if it's manga? So, God, I told you, did she? 
Well, um, that might be a little too hard at the moment. Hmm. I know I was a little annoyed today. I said your story writing was horrible. And to be honest, I give your story a 20 out of 100. But I also am really happy that you wrote something for me. So I'll give you 100 out of 100. <laughs> for your attitude today at least. <laughs> That's good. Good job. Look, triangle hat! Uh, pretty decent chapter, I guess. Um, holy moly, still have not seen um, a Kainu. I know as soon as a Kainu comes back in the picture, stuff has to happen, bro. But it's okay, we'll just focus on the present. Let's see if he makes new manga. Reinforced concrete, 10 stories tall and 15 years old. The place is just a one room apartment on the 8th floor. And the size is it in a square, 35 meters squared. So it should be quite comfortable. That's the problem with Japanese, bro. They got like the tiny house, bro. They like fit like ants. It's like some culture jank, but like, you know, mansion like tough. It's like a Mexican family. They put like 5 million people in like tiny house. But like they live, you know, in harmony. It gets them outside more, so it's pretty tough. Not only that all the surrounding buildings here are low. So you'll have a terrific view from up there. And considering the train station only five minute walk, I'd say that's 80,000 yen rent is quite reasonable. My officers would take care of all the maintenance stuff, so don't worry about that either. Well, oh, is Boon Boon trying to get a new uh, part? Well, aren't you pretty careless about your job? Yep, just pretend you didn't see that just now. I don't know what happened. Oh, I forgot. I should have left, left the key up here. Poon Poon takes a note. He's plotting, maybe. This place looks pretty nice. The entrance looks pretty worn out, but the interior looks good. That's right. Hmm. Oh, the bathroom's all new. The bathtub of my current place is so nightmare. <sighs> ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? You think they have Rick and Morty manga? She just slipped, what? <laughs> Ow! Just slipped and hit head. Poopoo -poo got dispersed, bro, what the heck? Goofy. Did it stop bleeding? Yeah, for now, I guess. Sorry about this. It's just that I have an old scar on my forehead that could reopen easily. Well, I'm just glad you're alright. So, have you decided? Hmm. If you don't hurry up, someone else might end up taking the place, you know? To think that I'd want to move because some stalker from work knows where I live. Man, it is creepy, you know. But, to move just because of that pisses me off. But that room looks so nice to work in. Hmm. Changing jobs already? No, 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 it's nothing. Oh, speaking of jobs, boom, boom. Uh... I know you suggested to on Onodera before, but would you like to work part-time here? Our site office has been recently transferred all of our old recordings to the computer, but I'm clueless about this kind of stuff. But, guess someone like you, you know all about this stuff, right, Onodera? I'm afraid I don't know anything either. There you go again, negative attitude. See that there's, there's people, these are like the, the some people, you know, they got the, they're too nice, they say yes to everything. And then there's people like Poon Poon, that just have like, they just don't want to do anything. Like, because they're like scared. It's very interesting, because like they're both scared. Both people are scared, but this takes on different form. Then you go again with a negative attitude again. I'm going to smack you if you keep acting like that, you know. Do you have any idea how lucky you are to be offering a job in Academical Recession? Don't worry, just think of the Gramps as your own personal piggy bank to exploit. Jesus Christ. 
I'll do it. Oh, why aren't you two on close terms? She just jade date each other already. Doi? No way. Stinky. Oh, ah. How many times do I tell you? You do not have the spare money to be giving out part time jobs. God, you are too trusting of people. This is just like the time you went for a walk. You returned home with stray cats and ended up taking dookie all over house. Do you really want to be hit with the wooden mallet again? <laughs> oh, Misuzu. Didn't you say you were going to be sleeping and since you weren't feeling well? Just what I learned, just what I think you've learned your lesson about not picking up random stuff and going home to Makuna who stopped you. But that stupid statue didn't even bring us any new customers. Do you want this place to be demolished and turned into a parking lot? Is this all you really want, old geezer? No, 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 no. I think it'd be best for you to go back and lie down. As for you... Don't just sit on your bum waiting for someone to just hand you a job. It's common sense for the person to get out of the world and work his jahannam off to make a living, no matter what problems he has. Yet you pretend the rest of the world has nothing to do with you. It just lays around with a face that might belong to a corpse. God, you young sterns. You youngsters are so conceited. The only thing you could ever do is whine, whine, whine. Always whining about the job market is bad, or the work benefits aren't good enough. Or how you don't want to be a slave of society or whatever. Back in the olden days, people worked to the bone in far harsher conditions. It's kind of facts. Oh my god, she's going hard. <laughs> she's going hard. So don't get cocky, punk. You don't even contribute to a single thing of society. No matter, <laughs> no matter the times we live in, this worthless piece of trash. It's a worthless piece of trash. Got a lazy passive bum. Wait, 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 wait. Just hang on a minute. Don't you think you're being a bit too harsh? Kids like him would never understand unless you shout it directly to their faces. That may be true, but that doesn't mean you need to say it so rudely. Why is she standing up for him? Poon Poon is giganto noob. <laughs> It'd be easier for an idiot like him to understand this way. It's not true. It's true that Oda there is a bit lacking, but that doesn't mean you could just lump him together with the, all the other slackers of today's generation when you don't even know the first thing about his circumstances. Circumstances? Also, that a kid has no health problems, has no circumstances that justifies lazy Jahannam. So, then you think he should just work himself to death? Then you're going to take responsibility for what he destroys his health? Is it the depression? Hold on. Why the Jahannam should I take responsibility? Don't my taxes already support his... A lazy glutissimus enough? No, no, let's just all come down. Boots <laughs> is chilling. I win this round. It's a time to leave. I got better things to do than argue with you. Oh, sure. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're real busy. I'm really sorry about what happened back there. My daughter of mine's been real tense these days. Maybe she's becoming <laughs> menopausal or something. I think that means when there's no eggs, yeah? Hey, yo, chat, fact check that one. No eggs. Even though she's still unmarried. The rainy season this year is quite long, isn't it? In any case, give that room some thought. I mean... Well, I promise I won't show the place to any other customers. As for you, under there, please do come over again to my office. Just on the day when my son is not there, though. <laughs> Jeez, you're too nice on people. I know. I'm sorry about everything. I was only planning on checking the, out the place. I had no idea to lead to all that. No, I should be the one apologizing for not saying anything back there. That's enough. Your sorries are too cheap to come by. Don't get the wrong idea. 
I didn't say all that for your sake or anything. I just couldn't sit down and take all that kind of talk. As if she's criticizing the old me. And the fact that I couldn't think of anything good to retort with just makes me all the more frustrating. But you know, in a way, it's exactly as she says. It's a doggy dog world out there. <sighs> it's not even it's it's not even try because you're afraid of failing. It's just <laughs> pathetic. You say you're bad at talking to others, but that's because you're too spoiled to try. But if you still feel like blaming the misfortunes of your past, then by all means go ahead. As for me, I've got my own life to worry about. I'm also scared of trying, only to end up failing even more than dying. But I have no choice but to try. I wouldn't accept someone like you who gives up at the first ever chance. Poonpoon's getting some building right here. Though. Isn't that a little conceited of you? Pfft. What do you mean? Oh, he's talking. You're pretty smart and talented at drawing. It's only obvious that a person as lucky as you would be overflowing with self confidence. But how can you expect the same? Not the self confidence for me. That's just too cruel. You're wrong. Without considering your, the feelings of others, all you do is look down on people. I said you're wrong, so please stop criticizing me anymore. Onodera. I don't really want to tell you this, but the truth is, this face of mine I've had, plastic surgery on it. How much time? 27? Dang! That's why she has the foreshadowing. It's the Oda, Echiro Oda foreshadowing. The, the scar on the forehead, bro. Blood coming out. You see it? That's foreshadowing, bro. Why does she have the scar on her forehead? Something just have happened in the past. It's her chest. So... There's clearly some building going on here. <sighs> Pretty smart and talented. More analysis. So she's scared of trying, but she has to because it's how world is. Goo ga goo, goo goo goo. It's basically they're trying to get Poon Poon to like get up there, you know, get his like motivation, his spunk back, you know. Oh, that was an okay episode. I'll give it that. I will have her be a I will have her start next one though. Alright guys. I see a lot of my fans. Comment what you think is going to happen next. I actually tell you what's gonna happen next. So Poom Poom gets his spunk after this. He starts becoming the normal bird. Cockadoo! I think. Hey, I don't know yet. Cockadoo, he starts becoming the bird. Because he's gonna be like, yeah, you know what? I need to take control of my disgusting life. Becomes a bird. Boom. Um, becomes bird. Back, back to bird. Um, makes something from the heart. Sends it to her. Makes a ton of money. He gets a lot of money. And he finds a kainu, and then that's what happens. We'll see what happens. Live happily ever after. Okay. Next episode.